Hi, I'm Kaoru, and today in this video I will show you how you can turn any wig into a lace front wig. First of all, what is a lace front wig and why would you use one? Lace front wigs have this little section of mesh in the front hairline of the wig. And the reason why you want to use one is they usually look more natural when styling the hair up or backwards. It's not actual lace, by the way. The problem I encountered when searching for a certain lace front was I found a perfect color for a wig I wanted for the character I am a Himuro from Science Fell in Love. But it was not a lace front and I wanted to style it a bit natural. So while browsing I did find they had these separate lace sections on the website and I decided to give it a try. I will show you in this video the process first and then afterwards, I'll give some extra explanation and tips and alternatives. Make sure you have a base wig and a lace section in the same color. Then determine the placement of the lace section. Pin in place, check if it's placed as you want and adjust the position if needed. Sew them together by hand on the hairline of the base wig. Here I used overcast stitches and this is what it looks like on the inside. On this photo I still had to trim the lace. But this is what it looks like after cutting and styling. Although not necessary as there is only a small part of the hairline visible, I decided to give it a try and share my experience with it. My alternatives were 1. Buy a wig in the right color without any lace front and just accept the fact that a small part of the hairline will look unnatural, which is definitely the cheapest option. 2. Buy a white lace front wig and dye it in the right color, which definitely costs more time and effort but it's quite an option if you need a specific hair color. 3. Buy a wig without lace front, with optionally some wefts in the same color, and some wig lace or skin colored mesh from the fabric store for example, and then make your own small lace sections with it. From there you can use the same steps I used in this video. There's no all-time right solution. Just pick whatever is best for your situation, preferences and requirements. You could definitely save some money by making your own lace sections and make a normal wig a lace front wig, but these ready-to-go lace sections are definitely a solution for lazy people like me. Regarding the hand stitching, it might be possible to sew it under the sewing machine, but I figured it was too unnecessary because I only needed to stitch a little bit. I did that before when sewing two wigs together, for example, or when sewing extra wefts into a wig to make it more full. Another option would be gluing the lace front to the base wig, but knowing my clumsiness, I would probably mess up with the hair going everywhere, going in between the glue and the lace section and the wig base, and it would be so messy and glue is less forgiving when making mistakes and while I sew something I can undo those stitches and sew it again. So that's why I went for sewing but you can probably use glue as well. I hope this video helped you. If you have any suggestions for more quick tutorials like these let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on cosplaying and remember to have fun!